Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's December 1st, 2021. Time for my new release video for Technique Junkies. This is the video where I just highlight one card that I made with a stamp set or two from the new release. Tonight on my YouTube channel, I will do a live unboxing of all the new cards at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel. I'll have that listed in the description box below just to remind you of the time uh, but you know the place because you're watching my video right now thank you for watching so I've got lavender friendship sentiments this is a set of four sentiments I'm going to stamp them all out all at one time and emboss them these are some beautiful sentiments everybody and I would certainly encourage you to consider grabbing some for yourself so there are friendships imprinted on in our hearts that will never be diminished by time and distance that's one of the sentiments which is in a pretty font they're all pretty fonts um this one says happy birthday wishes to my beautiful friend i love that one it's classic friends are like flowers they fill the world with beauty and I may not always be there with you, but I am always, I will always be there for you. So let me read that again. I may not always be there with you, but I will always be there for you. So I thought that was really, really sweet. And I love that one a lot and feel that I could use that a lot with friends that are in needing support and encouragement. I might not be able to be in there in person, but I can always be there for them. All right, so I did use the Rabbit Hole Designs embossing tool, which is an anti-static tool. You use it before you stamp to get the, like the oils and whatnot from your fingers to um, not show up I guess when you're um, watermark embossing I'm using VersaFine VersaMark watermark embossing ink I'm trying to talk too fast I'm getting my words all messed up sorry about that that's the VersaMark ink it is a clear sticky watermark ink it will um, and I'm also using this VersaFine Clara Nocturne ink which is a black pigment ink um, the reason I'm using both of them is when I first stamped the sentiments, I don't know if you saw it, I was having trouble getting the one stamp to stamp and I think it just needed primed a little bit and by adding the Versa Mark, which is the clear sticking embossing ink, it helps to prime that red rubber. Sometimes when a stamp is manufactured, there's just a little bit of like a conditioner or something left over on the stamp. So I think that's why that one section was skipping, but we've got it now. It's stamped clean. Let's move on to our stamp, which is called Lavender Frame. A uh, really pretty, the sentiments that I just stamped are made to fit inside this frame. So I would definitely highly recommend if you like this lavender frame, which I think you're going to love, um, you definitely want to grab yourself those sentiments, lavender friendship sentiments, set of four. They go together hand in hand. I'm just doing the same thing that I did with the sentiments. I am going to be stamping with some ink. I am going to be using the rabbit hole designs anti-static embossing powder. It's sort of like a telescoping tool and inside of the canister or the tube, it has um, this very fine like clay powder that um, they use in makeup, but some people don't like the other tools that are out on the market because the powder smells like uh, baby powder or other things that they're they're just not liking it for their nose and also the other tool 
you have like this little, it's like a little pillow, like a little tiny miniature cloth pillow, and you actually have to touch it over and over again. And that ends up making your little bag look grimy eventually because we use ink. So our fingers get inky and some people just don't like the feel of that either. So the little telescoping embossing, anti-static embossing tool is really great. It'll be in my description box below. Um, I decided that that frame was really crooked, so I'm going to re-stamp it. And I have a piece of acetate. You can use any kind of clear packing material that you get. A lot of times with our stamps, we might get cellophane bags that are clear. We can use that as well. Just something that we can see through to make sure that our stamp is lined up correctly because these are red rubber stamps. You can't see through them. So you have to just improvise a little bit just to get it right. I do like this stamp set. I like all of the new stamps in this release. I'm super excited to share them with you tonight on my YouTube channel. I hope that you'll join. We'll be going live at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel and I will show you all of the stamps. We'll do a walkthrough of all the stamps that are part of this release and we will play with a set or two and I'll show you the cards that I made for the Technic Junkies design team. All right, so I've got VersaFine Clara Nocturne ink and I'm going round and round on this frame. There's some beautiful images on the frame including different kinds of lavender bushes and sort of um an old-fashioned um bowl that you would mix up your herbs in i guess it's not old-fashioned but it kind of looks old-fashioned to me and then there's like a bottle there that you might imagine has lavender oil which by the way smells so good I am a fan of essential oils and lavender is one of my most favorite. There's a little fabric bag that would have lavender sachet of maybe potpourri in there. If you have a friend who is into essential oils or is sort of a homeopathic fan of herbal and med natural medicines, this would be a beautiful card that you can make them. I'm using the um, Wow clear embossing powder which basically was great when you have your black pigment ink it's going to look like black embossing powder but it's just clear and it's going to allow me to go to my next step after I heat emboss I'm taking my heat tool now and I'm going to melt the embossing powder just be really careful when you're using a heat tool you want to make sure that you move it around a lot because if you focus in one area for too long, you can singe your paper and that means you could burn your paper. Also make sure you turn it completely off before you sit it down on your table. You don't want it falling in your lap and unplug it at night before you go to bed. You don't want to melt anything by accident. These frames are so pretty. Um, there's actually a couple other frames from other releases that feature like floral images or other things definitely worth checking out speaking of the technique junkies new release the new release stamps are on sale for 15 percent off now through january 15 2022 you can also use my code tj10 tracy for 10 percent off all other items besides the new release that actually embossed quite nicely i'm very pleased with it all right now that we have our frame embossed and our little sentiments embossed you'll see i actually trimmed them out off camera you'll see how nicely they fit inside the frame just a perfect fit we're going to go ahead and color our frame and by color, I mean use our inks to watercolor. I'm using Catherine Polar inks to watercolor my image. This first color is called Tranquil. And the paper I'm using is not a watercolor paper, but I'm using a very minimal amount of water. So I do not have to worry about my paper pilling. 
The other ink colors that I use are Serene, Serenade, and Drive-In. Basically the purple shades that are the lightest in the Catherine Puller collection. So I did go over it with Tranquil, but then I went back over with Serene because the Tranquil was almost way too light. And then for the vases or the little uh, bowls that you mix the herbs up with, I, I colored those gray and I used black jack ink for that. Yeah, so that's really this next section is just me coloring in. There are different types of lavender bushes peeping out from behind the frame. There's a, like a bee that's pollinating a lavender bush. There's macaroons, uh, the little um, French pastries. You can get those in lavender. They're yummy. I've had them before. There's a little butterfly. Like I said, there's two bars of soaps. There's, um, looks like homemade soap wrapped up. There's some lotion. Um, it's just really pretty, you guys. And this is an easy way to get this colored. I know not everybody's a very big fan of coloring with alcohol markers or colored pencils. Once you stamp this and do your heat embossing, you've created little wells, for lack of a better word, that then you can use your paintbrush. If you if you have one of these Tombow markers, they're, they're like a blank marker. That's really all they are. If you have one of these, you can use these. If you don't, you can just use a very small tipped paintbrush to get into all these little nooks and crannies. And it only takes like 10 minutes. It doesn't take very long at all because it's a small image. It has a lot of detail, but it's a small image. And I'm gonna speed things up for the sake of time. Now, I don't like the white stark area that surrounds this beautiful purple, which I love the color purple. You know, it's just so rich and vibrant. So I'm going to be doing some splattering with my ink. So I took that deepest color, which is drive-in, took my acrylic block and then I thought whoa 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 wait a minute I need to get my splat box out because I'm gonna make a mess all over my desk if I don't do that okay splat box to the rescue this is just an old shipping container that has paper towels at the bottom and I have that paint and I covered up my image with a piece of scrap paper and I'll just rotate this paper side to side corner to corner and I'm just flicking with this small fan brush, this ink. So the, I ink the little acrylic block and then I put a little bit of water on with my distress sprayer on the acrylic block and that makes it runny enough that you can then just flick. And I think this turned out really nice. I like the f specks that, um, surround the focal point which is your sentiment but because it's just so stark white I really wanted to put these specks of paint in and I'm glad that I did this not only that but I have a little panel left over here that I can make something else with in the future so I just grab my block and add a little bit more ink and just add a little bit more splatter to this panel and I set it aside and then I grab another piece of blank cardstock and I go ahead and do the same, just getting that last bit of ink off. Now, I, you know, this is a, a technique that uses some water, but not a lot of water. So I am just using Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy Cover Paper, 100 pound. And it works out fine. As long as you don't add a lot of water, you're fine. So I'm splattering the sentiments as well. Um, because I plan on making cards in the future. And I want those sentiments to be ready to go. And that's what's the beauty of this sentiment set. 
their classic expressions of friendship. And if you would have them and just die cut them, which is what I did, you could keep them in your stash, grab them when you need them and have the perfect sentiment for your next card to a friend. And then I thought my camera was rolling, but I actually created my own colored cardstock for the mat. So what I do is I use the same ink, the Catherine Polar ink. I'm using um, Serenade, which is not the darkest shade that I was using, but the next to the darkest. And I'm just dragging the ink pad around all four corners of this. This is just an A2 card base. And then now I have my card base ready. And once I color in my sentiment and place it on there, it's ready to go. So that's how I did my card, even though my camera wasn't running, I thought it was. Um, another thing that I did was for the sentiment, I went around it with the ink pad like I'm doing with this piece of cardstock. And I gently applied just a little bit of purple ink. That way the edges of that sentiment pop a little bit. It gives it a little bit dimension. Before you leave, could you please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know if you like the card and the stamp sets. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. I love it when you guys leave comments. I read each and every one of them and they mean the world to me. Please join me tonight live on my channel at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will do a step-by-step -step unboxing of all the new stamps for Technique Junkies, as well as show you the cards that I made for the design team. Thanks so much. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.